Hello my YouTube friends and welcome to another episode of Magnum Videos. Tonight we're going to talk about Rembrandt lighting. So stay right there and I'll be right back. All right, Rembrandt, as you know, was a great painter and he had a specific style that really used the light to make uh, his painting so unique. Now we're going to look at what's called Rembrandt lighting this evening, which is basically used in portraiture. Now in this particular setup right now, we've got our key light, our fill light, which is a low fill light and a high fill light and a hair light or a rim light back behind. This is how I normally set up my shots uh, in the green screen. So um, I'm going to make some alterations and we're going to look at the effect you can get by changing the lighting a little bit. So stay right there. I'll make a few alterations and I'll be back in just a moment. This is an example of Rembrandt lighting. We have the key light on that side. We have no fill light and we have a hair light or rim light or backlight in the rear. So this will give you an idea of the effect that you can achieve by altering your lighting. This is a second example with the light coming from the other side. And in addition, we have a little bit more light on that side. I have a low fill or a low key and a high fill slash key light on one side and the hair light in the back on the same side. So this will give you uh, another example of how you can achieve a different effect by varying the lights that you're using in your scene. This is a third setup. I have gotten rid of the low key light and I'm just using the high key slash fill light on that one side, nothing on the other side, and we've still got the hair light or rim light in the back. Now we could move that light to the other side and give it a little bit more drama, but we're not going to do that in this video. And there you have it. That's just a couple of examples of the things you can do to change your lighting around to get different effects depending on the type of scene you're trying to capture. So leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of lighting you have. And uh, if you've got any questions, leave those as well, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. So I think that's it for now. Until I speak with you again, and even after that, you stay focused. <laughs> <laughs>